it's that time again time it's that time of day again when we start milking so it's two o'clock open up the gate let the cows come in for milking cows love routine so they're all, some of them are waiting ready to go like the real goer cows give a lot of milk like you go out in the part of first see to come on round get ready to go I saw these fast ones here waiting and you have a few sat down in the sheds and whatnot we're gonna get there up I gotta go down through the beds and let rake all the beds and then they're no they just usually get up one or two you might have to drive out but the majority of them just walk out quite often I do it quietly I ain't got going there shouting or anything so they're uh they're ready to go whoever's smoking this afternoon will like, be ready to rumble because the cows are ready and then all I've got to do is drive these cows out there sweep out these passageways put some more silage round and then feed the calves and then we're done and that'll probably take me about two and a half hours so it's two three four five well it's going to take three hours I'm going to be done roughly about five o'clock and then go come round here check rain everywhere check all the dry case and then we're done for the night probably about half five 20 past five usually usually done at night Your cows all nice and calm. A lot sat down actually, why ain't a bad thing? Because it means they're full up, they're eating all their grub. Right, so that's all the uh, yard swept up, and I've just shut all the doors for the night, and I've just got to shut the shit yard gate to the lagoon because that's very important. Which one no one goes running off into there. Now the cows are in the first barn here. I've just got to drive the rest up. All in the collecting yard. And let them in the rest of the barn. Put two loads of grub brown, feed the calves. And we are pretty much done then. These cows, the last bit of grub. Not a great deal left, let them clear that up. Another half hour or so, I'll be coming around with a load of grub. So I don't know if it's got colder or they've just transitioned better this year. They're like really ramping up on the milk now. What's good? Oh, that's going really well. That's what these caves are, mate. A little bit colder, a little bit drier. That's what we want. Not too cold. It's hard work. Go on. Go on. I've got to drive all these at the back now right? so we can walk in the rest of the sheds. Open these gates up. That's all that done up there. So the cows are all back in the cubicles now. They're eating the last bit of silage what was put rain this morning. And now I'm down with silage clamps. But yeah, I've got a tire there. I've got a pick out chuck over there in a minute. Down the silage clamps with the two tractors. Got the 175 and the 125, the G125. Got the two blue ones today. Another one I've got matching colours. All I gotta do is put the grub rain with that wagon. I'm gonna load it with this tractor. But whilst that's getting ready, just do it so she sheets in a minute actually, so I don't chuck no sheet in the silage. I hate it when I find sheet in silage. Let's start calf set up. So these are our new calf huts we just bought. Then the old ones, what I said I was gonna burn or we'll throw away. We've actually kept them again. I gotta repair that because I'm loading up on calves big time. We've got so many cows calving at the moment, anybody think we'll block calving down there? But this is all year round calving. This is the old huts again. I got to spruce them up a bit, I had a bit of tin fall off as I was carrying them down because we moved them for quite a long way. So and usually I don't move them because like they're built out of wood and they're a bit flimsy and whatnot. So we used to have five of those. What I made, I made those, made those when I was about 18. So like, you know, a good 12 years ago. And then um so they've lasted a long time and they are bloody good you don't get much hassle with them that's why i bought these you know i should have bought these a lot sooner but these calves here see these ones here newborn calves here pretty young ones they've done a um couple days for the mother to get them clean there's that angus here frisian over there little frisian here see it's nice and this is wind, quite windy out here today fresh air and you come in here and it's still fresh but it's just, you've got to get in one to feel it. You know, like it feels really good. I've got the vent open. And it's really not, like you can nearly sleep in here yourself. These are all the learner cars. 
I love it when they jump out and they try sucking it because it means they're fit and healthy. Got like an orangey Angus thing there. That's an Angus, he's pulled. Frisian here. We're all Frisians. Frisian heifer. Got Hereford. So we've got all sorts of Angus there. Got some Angus Frisians here. Then over here we've got some crossbreds because I bought down a crossbred bull from my, um, on a spring unit in January when we were TB3. Then we've got those coming out, ones like that. I don't want too many of them because I don't want a crossbred herd down here. I want to have a little sleeping hut over there. Drinking water, that's what I like. Because he's got a bit, little bit of a shitty ass there and he's drinking water. That means he's dehydrated and he's drinking a bit of water. That's good. Gonna feed him with these feeders this afternoon. I've got another two of these being washed out at the moment. Milk bars, but I've got the peach teats in. You ever heard of peach teats? Bloody good day after learning calves on. Calves gone on straight away. So anyway, I'll show you a bit more of that in a minute when I start feeding them. Another hour and I'll feed them. I've got to do two loads of grub cuts. It's going to take half an hour a load probably. So I've got to do two loads of seven per ton. Chuck that blend in. I just ordered up another load of blend. Because we're running out of it. We've upped them an extra kilo down the barrier actually. And then we've dropped them off in the parlour. Because we're still feeding a 16% cake in the parlour. So it's not very high protein for this time of year. So it's literally just feed them, you know, you keep them happy, keep them coming in the parlour. So we're not getting much of that now, and then the most of it, they're getting to blend down the barrier. So some cows will get a little bit more than they need, but it is, it's stacking up all right. It's pushing, pushing all the milk up. So it's working out pretty well, actually. There we go. Fire the Wagner. Takes a bit of time to fire this wagon up. It's the 175, if you haven't seen it in my other videos. Not your strike though. Got a slight leak on the air. Suspension on the front, I reckon. That's where we leave time again. Good oil. Make sure the door's shut. We've got to turn the lights on for the computer to work. Right. Just put tight new tyres on our 174. That's the 20 plate, and we fall through a set of tyres already on that one. He looks like now he's got a new set of tyres on, he looks like a brand new tracker. Be putting the box on. I've got to wait for the, uh, the scales to come on. I have put no load. I have put no grub brand at all today. The dry cows I loaded up last night in the milkers last night. So now I've got to load them up again. Right, that is the wagon loaded. Right now I've got to take it on around. Start paying out. Got to try to hear Someone's been in here and adjusted the steering wheel. milk and stuff and you're gonna love it now would come out with a wagon because the cows will pay part of it that much quicker when they smell this grub being paid out. Okay, Right, you reverse this one. I've got to lock the rear steer axle. I've got to drop it down if you can see. Fucking hell, I could mess that one up. Huh? 
samurai, isn't it? Rest back. Boy, up to the door. Reverse out of that RSG there. Alright, then I've got to drop the tailboard. The ramp. A little flat, we can't quite see. On the on the 360 wagon, you can see it really easy. I rev them up to about 1300. This case can really go. Open the door. Up. Leftover from small, and that's good. It means we're giving up plenty. There, all lined up in the collecting yard, going into the milk parlor. I just fed up this barrier. Now I've got a box staring at me. Reverse all the way back down. Right? 